My name is Justin Ramson and I'm a LEGO model designer, but I'm not THE designer of the Hulkbuster Age of Ultron set. So the actual designer of this set was Jonas Norlin, um, and I was his model buddy and uh, yeah, helped him along the way while he was designing the set. So much like the Avengers have a, a team of superheroes with a LEGO superhero team and help each other out. Looking at the movies, especially the Age of Ultron, we noticed that we have to do this Hulkbuster. It's so iconic and the silhouette of it is, is absolutely fantastic. And as soon as we even saw the trailer, we were like, we need to make this in a, into a LEGO product. Jonas was such a fantastic uh, model designer when it came to robots, so this fit his bill really. Really. And some designers like to work with pen and paper, others like to sit in front of the computer. I, for one, really love to get on my hands and knees and get a pile of bricks and just play like a child would. Because at the end of the day, we're making toys for kids, so why not build like a kid? The set depicts a huge mech suit which Tony Stark has created in his lab. And the, the mech is the Hulkbuster Mark 44 armor, which is so iconic to the, the Marvel Studios movie franchise. It's a huge dark red robot with fantastic features such as an LED light up chest, it's got glow in the dark pieces that represent the arc reactors, it's got a moving jackhammer arm that you can swap in and out with another arm so it can uh, yeah, be ready for action and also yeah, you get this really cool display base as well so yeah, you can either display the model on your desk or at home or then you can take the, the Hulkbuster and go on your own adventure. So there's a number of people involved in designing this model and uh, one of the key people who was uh, instrumental in the, the design was uh, Adam Corbley, a, a graphic design master. He created the fantastic minifigure and uh, decos that are displayed on the model to this day. What's great about this, uh, being able to take part in this model uh, with Jonas, you know, working together on it, is actually we both worked together on the original smaller Hulkbuster back in 2015. Jonas and I working together on this new one, it was like, how can we make that first one we did, how can we make that even cooler? What didn't we do the, the first time that we would love to have done and we can bring that into this set? This is the first time where we've been able to do a massive mech suit type build and it's, 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 it's really special. It's just the awesome display piece. My favorite part of this design would be the, the Hulkbuster helmet. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm being a little selfish there because that's where I go, okay, I can, I can put in all the graphic details that I need to put in. And I was pretty happy with how that came out in the end. Fans are really gonna love this set because not only is it such an iconic creation of Tony Stark's, but also it's a, a fantastic build. It's got parts in new colors and it's a lot of dark red bricks, which we know the fans will absolutely love. One of the challenges is figuring out, okay, like, uh, where do we put a graphic detail, you know? So we've got the decorated helmet, we've got a certain amount of stickers in the set. We don't want to just pile on stickers everywhere, that just doesn't make sense, but we can't have no stickers. Uh, it, there has to be certain details in there that are iconic for the, for the Hulkbuster. So it's, um, it's a great discussion that we have within the design team to go, okay, what's, what's the right balance here? What, what do we need to have? What's maybe not so necessary just to get that right level of detail? we had to build in a certain way of Lego um, that some fans may have never seen before. So we had to use a lot of new shapes to, to create different angles. We also had to use joints that may have never been used in that way before. And also we had to try and make it buildable. I mean, this is such a, an amazing invention that Tony Stark has created that we wanted to try and get it as accurate as possible to the, the movie, but also make it buildable as a Lego set. It's gonna be a challenge, you know, at that scale, like what isn't, you know, it's, it's a real, you know, it's a big model. But uh, you know that's part of the fun. You know, it's, it's fun to be challenged like that and building in new ways and like uh, difficult ways. You know, the, the subtle details that get put in. I think people will love it. You don't just uh, nail the design straight away. You know, there's a lot of iterations, different versions, different use of colors, different use of lines. The process involves a lot of redoing the same thing, just in a slightly different way, trying to figure out okay, what exactly makes sense here. Adapting the, the film franchises into Lego bricks uh, works so well because not only do the, the Marvel films portray such amazing stories, but the, the characters are inspirational, they're heroic, and they're, they're incredible. So it fits the Lego group so well, and especially, yeah, the, the models that we make. I hope it shows some of that excitement. This released with the 10th anniversary of, of the Marvel Studio and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it's fantastic that we can choose such an iconic model to celebrate such a, a brilliant occasion. Ever since I could break my brother's models, I've been hooked by, by the brick and sort of never thought it was a, a job that I'd be able to do um, and that anyone actually did. So I um, went down the path of going to design school and I had a stint at working at Legoland as a master model builder and um, then just one night out of the blue I thought, oh, I'll apply, now's the time. And uh, yeah, the rest is history.
My advice for anyone interested in becoming a designer is um, practice makes perfect, you know, so if there's something you're interested in doing, just keep practicing. If you have a passion for it, just s stick with it. And, you know, like I said, practice makes perfect. I never thought it was possible to be a, a Lego model designer, but yeah, my dream came true. So it just shows that if you follow your passion and, and continue building, I mean, yeah, anything's possible. It's going to be brilliant to see the, the creation in shops and just to see people purchase something that we put so much passion into and then they can go home and build it and, and experience the same reaction that we get from, from building these models. I'm very proud to have worked on this model. This like absolutely massive version of the Iron Man Hulkbuster armour, I mean, that's just cool, you know? People are instantly going to recognise it and having that connection, uh, it's, it's great.